What a week! Not one, but three American banks have collapsed. Silvergate, Signature and most importantly Silicon Valley Bank, all known for catering primarily to the tech and crypto clientele. I'm Ray from the Center and this is the recap of our latest newsletter dedicated to the US bank's collapse and its impact on the crypto ecosystem. So let's take a look at what happened to the Silicon Valley Bank, how did the regulators react, and finally what does it all mean for the crypto space. Spoiler alert, it's not all bad. Silicon Valley Bank is America's 16th biggest and it had been working for 40 years before falling apart in just two days. Its main problem is that back in 2021, when interest rates were low, it bought a lot of long-term securities. Now that the Fed is raising rates aggressively, the value of the securities has plummeted because any risk-free bond now offers a much bigger yield. So on Wednesday, Silicon Valley Bank announced it needed to raise over $2 billion to shore up its balance sheet. On Thursday, banking clients withdrew over $42 billion. And on Friday, the bank was shut down by the regulators. As the panic spread, regulators stepped in. On Sunday, the Treasury, the Fed and the FDIC released a joint statement ensuring that the clients of the Silicon Valley Bank and the Signature Bank that they have preemptively closed will be made whole. To do that, the Fed will make available additional funding, which basically means printing money to buy those securities that pose so much problem. So let's recap. 2020 and 21, the Fed is printing over $4 trillion and injecting in the economy. Institutions use this new money to buy long-term securities at lower rates. New money supply creates massive inflation, which pushes the Fed to start raising rates. Institutions find themselves with a big paper loss, which transforms into a real loss when facing massive withdrawals. To help these institutions and avoid a generalized bank run, the Fed is starting to print money. Again. We have come full circle. So, what does it all mean for the crypto space? Of course, the companies that will find themselves locked out of their funds will suffer, and those of systemic importance, like the stablecoin issuer Circle, could spread the contingent further. Indeed, after Circle revealed it had 3 billion blocked at the Silicon Valley Bank, the USDC stablecoin depacked, dragging along DAI and FRAX stablecoins. All three somewhat recovered since. Another reason the situation is problematic is that with three crypto friendly banks out of the picture, it is even more difficult now for crypto firms to find a banking partner. But it's not all bad. The bank's collapse has reminded us the very reason crypto was created in the first place, and that is to bypass any intermediary standing between you and your money. Not your keys, not your coins. Also, we've just had a brilliant demonstration of how central banks playing with our money could have dramatic consequences. Bitcoin does not need any intermediary and its supply is predictable and invariable. It is a viable alternative to fiat money. Another consequence that the situation can have is changing the Fed's mind and halting the interest rates hikes, which could have a stimulating effect on the overall economy, including crypto. For more insights, visit the center, subscribe to our newsletter, and follow us on social networks. See you next week!